so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in this class guys uh, we will be talking about the pib news from 6th to 7th of june 2023 so let's uh, begin with the class without any delay and let's talk about the very first question and the very first question guys is very very important you can expect a question definitely not expectation i'm sure this is a question aapke exam mein definitely aane wale hai. It is about the NIRF uh, India rankings. All right. So, which of the following statements are incorrect about the eighth edition of NIRF National Institute of Ranking Framework, uh, India rankings 2023 of higher education institutes? Right. So, you need to identify the incorrect statement about this uh, ranking. So, let's talk about this ranking and then we will come back to the question. So, the Ministry of Education, which is headed by Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan has released the 8th edition of NIRF India Rankings for Higher Education Institutes and uh, these rankings were released for the very first time in the year 2016. Those are Sola Me in rankings ko nikala gaya tha. All right. And in this edition, in 2023 edition, the higher education institutions have been ranked based on uh, in 13 categories and subject domains. Right. There are 13 categories and subject domains in which the higher education institutions have been ranked. All right. Talking more about it. So there are three distinct editions this time. Three distinct edi uh, editions are there. And what are these? Number one, introduction of new subject. A new subject has been added, which is agriculture and allied sectors. Agriculture and allied sector, a new subject has been added. Number two, what they have done is innovation ranking has been integrated into this ranking. Now, uh, before this, uh, the innovation ranking was executed by Atal ranking of institution on innovation achievements. But now the innovation rankings have been merged, have been integrated with the NIRF India rankings. All right. And the third edition is the scope of architecture has been expanded. And now it will be called as architecture and planning. It will be called as what architecture and plan. So these are the three new editions in the 2023 edition of NIRF. All right. Now, talking more about it, so the, there are five parameters based on which the institutes are ranked. Number one, teaching, learning and resources. Number two, research and professional practice given 30% weightage. Subse other weightage, the, the highest weightage is given to teaching, learning and resources, that is 40%. Followed by 30%, that is research and professional practice. Then graduation outcomes, 20%. After that, outreach and inclusivity. 10% and 10% to perception, right? So these are the five parameters based on which the NRERF India rankings have been released by the Ministry of Education. Now talking about the winners in all the categories. So in the overall category, the overall topper is IIT Madras once again. It is once again at number one. Last year also it was at number one. In engineering category, of course, IIT Madras it, uh, must be at number one because uh, when overall category, if IIT Madras is number one, then of course engineering category may be IIT Madras hoga, right? In universities categories, it is uh, IISC Bangalore, Indian Institute of Science. Research institution category, once again, IISC Bangalore. Management mein, IIM Ahmedabad, IIM A, hamesha ye rehta hai. Bangalore ke saath kabhi kabhi upar niche hota hai. Medical mein, it's always the AIMS New Delhi, right? Pharmacy, NIPER, Hyderabad. <coughs> Colleges mein number one mein Miranda House College of Delhi University, right? Architecture subject, IIT Roorkee, again at number one. Law mein National Law School of Bangalore, which is at number one. Architecture and light sectors, Indian, uh, sorry, agriculture and light sector, uh, number one mein hai, Indian Institute of Agriculture Inst uh, Institute, in Indian Agriculture Research Institute, right? In New Delhi. And in innovation category, the number one is the IIT Kanpur. All right. And yes, you have to remember all of them. All of them are important. You cannot do ki aap kuch is se important bata do. There is no important here. You have to remember all the categories and their respective winners. All right. So that is all about NIRF ranking. And let's come back to the question now. We need to identify the incorrect statement. It has been released by Niti Aayog. No, it has been released by Ministry of Education. The statement is incorrect. It ranked higher education institutions in 13 categories and subject domains, including the new ones. Correct. This is incorrect. It ranked higher education institutions based on five broad parameters. Yes, this is absolutely correct. Uh, everything uh, and all the parameters have a certain percentage weightage. 
आईटी बॉम्बे हैज टॉप इन ओवर ओवरऑल कैटेगरी इज दैट सो आईटी बॉम्बे तो आई थिंक कहीं लिस्ट में भी नहीं था इट वाज आईटी मद्रास व्हिच इज एट नंबर 1 इनकरेक्ट एंड आईटी मद्रास हैज टॉप इन इनोवेशन कैटेगरी नो इट इज आईटी कानपुर व्हिच हैज टॉप इन इनोवेशन कैटेगरी सो दिस इज आल्सो इनकरेक्ट तो इनकरेक्ट निकालना है 1 4 एंड 5 इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन बी 1 4 एंड 5 इज द करेक्ट आंसर Let's talk about question number two, which is based on NHI's first sustainability report. This we have discussed in a class uh, that NHI has launched its first sustainability report, which talks about the governance structure and stakeholders of the national highway ecosystem of the country. Right? But this time, PIB has provided, PIB has released certain data from this report, and that's why we are discussing it again. All right? So NHI. The question is that as per NHI's first sustainability report, greenhouse gas emissions from energy consumption, operations, transport, and travel has seen a decline of what percent in financial year 21-22? Okay, kitna decline dekha hai in financial year 21-22? Right, that is the question. So let's talk about the news, then we will come back to the question. So it is the National Highway Authority of India, which I believe is chaired by Mr. Santosh Kumar Yadav, if I am not wrong. has released its first sustainability report for financial year 2122 now this report tells us about the governance structure of nhi the stakeholders of the national highway ecosystem of the country it will help to open new avenues for infrastructure financing which is known as green finance as per the ministry of finance framework what is green finance so uh, the the highway will be built using the green technologies theek hai jahan pe hum green technologies ka इस्तेमाल करेंगे राइट नाउ एज पर दी रिपोर्ट कुछ इसमें से हाईलाइट है तो नंबर वन डायरेक्ट कमीशन रिडक्शन की अगर हम बात करें सो फ्रॉम फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2020 ट्वेंटी टिल फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू डायरेक्ट कमीशन रिड्यूस बाई एटीन पॉइंट फोर फोर परसेंट एंड नाइन पॉइंट फोर नाइन परसेंट ड्यू टू लेस फ्यूल कंजम्पन राइट ग्रीन हाउस गैस अमीशन फ्रॉम एनर्जी कंजम्पन ऑपरेशन ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड ट्रेवल it has seen a decline of 9.7% in financial year 21 and just 2% in financial year 21 22 now why there is a huge difference between these two financial years can you tell me that 9.7% and 2% itna difference kyun hai because i believe guys you all know that in in the year 2022 we have a lockdown all across the country so vehicular emission kam tha that's why it uh, seen it saw a decline of 9.7% in financial year 2020 2021 okay talking more about it electronic toll collection through fastag has now over 97 penetration 97% penetration and which is of course helping in reducing the carbon footprint in the nation energy intensity in gigajoules per kilometer has been reduced by 37% in financial year 2020 2021 and 27% in the next financial year that is financial year 2022 all right and last but not the least plantation drives have been uh, you know <coughs> organized to develop eco friendly national highways right and under these drives around 2.75 crores saplings were planted till financial year 2021 22 to offset direct emission from the vehicles theek hai to of course jab hum plantation प्लांटिंग uh, करेंगे तो उससे जो ग्रीन uh, हाउस जो डायरेक्ट गैस का मिशन है वो ऑफसेट होगा ठीक है सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस एंड लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन नाउ सो इट इज आस्किंग अबाउट फाइनेंशियल ईयर 21-22 तो इट्स 2 परसेंट नॉट 9.7 परसेंट ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लॉ एंड जस्टिस हैज लॉन्च न्याय विकास पोर्टल फॉर मॉनिटरिंग द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ न्याय विकास स्कीम it is a centrally sponsored scheme being implemented from which year for development of infrastructure facilities for districts and subordinate judiciary theek hai ji so nyay vikas portal has been launched the news is this only ministry of law and justice has launched the nyay vikas portal now what this portal will do it will provide seamless access to information pertaining to funding documentation project monitoring project implementation under the nyay vikas scheme Now, what is this Nay Vikas scheme? Abhi Nay Vikas scheme hai kya? Nay Vikas scheme it is being implemented by the Ministry of Law and Justice since 93-94, since financial year 94, as a centrally sponsored scheme. And what government is doing under it? 
द गवर्नमेंट इज प्रोवाइडिंग फाइनेंसिंग टू द स्टेट और यूनियन टेरिटरीज फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कोर्ट हॉल्स एंड रेजिडेंशियल यूनिट फॉर जुडिशियल ऑफिसर्स और जजेस ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड सबॉर्डिनेट कोर्ट राइट सो दिस मच इंफॉर्मेशन इज इनफ अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम इससे ज्यादा आई डोंट थिंक दैट दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क इन योर एग्जाम ठीक है सो सिंस वेन इट इज बींग इंप्लीमेंटेड सो इट्स नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर So option C will be the correct answer. Ninety-three, ninety-four. Let's talk about question number four. Consider the following statements with respect to Govardhan scheme, and you have to identify the correct statement. Now you must be wondering Govardhan scheme. It was to launched in the year two thousand and eighteen. Then why we are discussing it today? What is the reason? Because we are discussing it because Ministry of Jal Shakti has launched unified registration portal, right? they have launched a unified registration portal for govardhan scheme now there is a full form of govardhan as well galvanizing organic bio agro resources galvanizing organic bio agro resources dhan that is the full form of govardhan now what this portal will do why this portal has been launched first of all this will port this portal will act as a one stop repository to assess investments and participation in biogas sector so if we want to assess the investment in the biogas sector this portal will help us at pan india level and streamline the process of setting up the biogas plants in the country now how it will streamline the process kaise hoga wo cheez so jitne bhi stakeholders hai so it will enable all the government agencies all the cooperatives or the private entities who want to set up uh, who is uh, intended to set up the biogas plant they can now register themselves through this portal right in india to obtain a registration number by enrolling on it theek hai ji to wo register kar sakte hain this portal has been developed by department of drinking water and sanitation under the ministry of jal shakti but this much information is not enough we need to talk about the govardhan scheme as well because it is in news so let's talk about govardhan scheme the objective is to the major objective is to convert organic waste especially cattle waste to biogas and fertilizer for use in rural areas right that is the major objective and with this objective we have a sub objective as well with the help of this the government intends to create new livelihood opportunities to the people in rural areas right that is the major objective of this particular scheme these are the two major objectives theek hai it was launched in the year 2018 from karnal which is in haryana and of course the implementing ministry is the ministry of jal shakti headed by मिस्टर हेडेड बाय मिस्टर गजेंद्र सिंह शेखावत ठीक है जी टॉकिंग मोर अबाउट दिस स्कीम सो देर आर फोर मॉडल्स ऑफ दिस स्कीम देर आर फोर मॉडल्स चार मॉडल्स है इसके अंदर नंबर वन बायोगैस प्लांट्स फॉर इंडिविजुअल हाउस होल्ड सो नाउ दिस इज फॉर दो हाउस होल्ड विच हैव थ्री और मोर कैटल जिनके पास तीन या तीन से ज्यादा कैटल है द बायोगैस इज स्लरी जनरेटेड फ्रॉम दिस प्लांट फ्रॉम इंडिविजुअल हाउस होल्ड प्लांट can be used for cooking and also as the manures by the individual households theek hai then we have another model that is community biogas plant so it can be set up for minimum number of households 5 to 10 5 se 10 households milke agar koi uh, biogas plant banate hai then it will come under the community biogas plant right and the gas generated here the gas generated here will be supplied to the households restaurants or institutions and the slurry which is generated from the biogas plant slurry ka matlab hota hai jo left out material hota hai slurry is a very beautiful manure class 10th mein agar aapne ncert padhi hai to usme bahut acche se biogas plant ke bare mein bata rakha hai right the slurry can be used by community as organic manure in agriculture and that can also be sold to the farmers and of course it will create a livelihood opportunity for them all right aage chalte hain third model mein that is the cluster model क्लस्टर मॉडल में क्या होगा इंडिविजुअल बायोगैस प्लांट्स आर इंस्टॉल्ड इन नंबर ऑफ हाउस होल्ड इन अलेजेस और ग्रुप ऑफ विलेजेस एंड द बायोगैस जनरेटेड इज यूज बाय हाउस होल्ड एंड स्लरी इज कलेक्टेड एट अ कॉमन प्लेस जिसमें से लिक्विड और सॉलिड को हम अलग करेंगे एंड देन फोर्टिफाइड एंड सोल्ड एज बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स ठीक है तो डिफरेंस है याद रखना यहां पर क्या हो रहा है we are directly using it at as organic manure or we can also sold to the farmers in the cluster model what is happening we are converting that slurry into bio fertilizers and then we are further selling it in the market 
right and the third no not the fourth model is commercial uh, compressed biogas plant it can be set up by entrepreneurs cooperative societies goshalas etc and the gas uh, produced will be compressed and it can be used as vehicular fuel and it can also be sold to the industries uh, those industries which uses biogas plant as fuel right and the slurry generated is converted into organic manure and can be sold into the markets to the farmers okay so that is all about uh, govardhan scheme i hope this is clear let's identify the correct statement it was launched in 2020 from karnal haryana yes it was launched from karnal haryana but not in 2020 but in 2018 so this statement is incorrect it is being implemented by ministry of jal shakti sahi baat hai the scheme has four models individual households community cluster and commercial yes so two and three will be the correct answer option a option a will be the correct answer let's talk about question number five so question number five is based on pm swanadi and why we are discussing about pm swanadi because pm swanadi has completed three years of its implementation right pm swanadi ke baare mein hum padhenge government schemes ke session mein that's why i am not uh, discussing the scheme in detail today actually we have discussed already pm swanadi i think government scheme part two mein hai wo so aap dekh lena kis mein hai so pm swanadi we have i have discussed in detail already so i am not repeating it today so why it is in news because it has completed three years of its implementation and on that occasion various initiatives were launched right so the question is with the help of which ministry facility for udyam registration and obtaining udyam assist certificate on pm swanadi portal has been launched right in assistance with which ministry so news i already told you and these are some of the initiatives which were launched number one pm swanidhi mobile app has been launched now you must be wondering they have also launched they had launched a mobile app in the year 2020 also again a mobile app now these two mobile has uh, these two mobile app have different uh, objectives that mobile app which was launched in the year 2020 was for the lending institutions the lending partners and this mobile app has been launched for street vendors to ease their loan application process and they can also gather various information about uh, the scheme uh, from this app right and facility for udyam registration and obtaining udyam assist certificate on pm swanidhi portal has been launched in assistance with of course the ministry of msme and this will help the street vendors to obtain their udyam registration certificates for promotion of their business all right and yes, these uh, institutions were felicitated for their uh, uh, exceptional performance for implementation of PM Swanidhi in the banks. There are three banks, State Bank of India, Bank of Baroda and Union Bank of India. In the RRBs, there is only one, Andhra Pradesh, Grameen Vikas Bank. And in the state cooperative banks, again, there is only one, Srinidhi Credit Cooperative Federation Limited. Very, very important. ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इसमें से क्वेश्चन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन योर एग्जाम ठीक है सो विच मिनिस्ट्री इज दिस ऑफ कोर्स द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एमएसएमई ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड नाउ गाइस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द क्वेश्चंस इन शॉर्ट व्हिच डू नॉट नीड मच एक्सप्लेनेशन बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू वांट टू हैव द पीडीएफ ऑफ दिस क्लास यू कैन जॉइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 इंडियाज फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल क्रूज वेसल MV Empress has been recently flagged off from Chennai to which country? Can you tell me the answer to this question? Yes, you are absolutely right. It's Sri Lanka. Option E is the correct answer. Question number 7. Which process has been developed with support from uh, Department of Science and Technology to provide a long-term resilient, convenient, energy efficient and environmentally responsible method of transforming plastic waste into electricity now please remember you don't have to go into the details of this process just remember the objective of this process converting plastic waste into electricity right and the name and the name is what polyurja option e polyurja is the correct answer question number eight which student scientist connect program is being implemented by the csir in collaboration with Kendra Vidyalaya Sangathan. Konsa Student Scientist Connect program hai ye? So it is Jigyasa. Option C is the correct answer. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच प्रो बोलो लीगल सर्विस हैज बिन डेवलप्ड टू कनेक्ट द रजिस्टर्ड लॉयर्स विद एलिजिबल मार्जिनलाइज बेनिफिशियरी यू कैन इजिली आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दिस थिंग इन वन ऑफ द प्रीवियस पी आई बी सेशन एज वेल सो दिस लीगल सर्विस इज न्याय बंधु ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन हु इज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ नेशनल लेवल कमिटी फॉर ड्राफ्टिंग न्यू नेशनल कोऑपरेशन पॉलिसी डॉक्यूमेंट दिस कमिटी वॉज फॉर्म इन सेप्टेंबर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन विद विजन टू अचीव द विजन ऑफ सहकार से समृद्धि राइट टू फॉर्मुलेट अ न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट ऑन नेशनल कोऑपरेशन पॉलिसी इट इज चेयर बाय मिस्टर सुरेश प्रभु ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है याद रखना क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट हेडेड बाय दैट पर्सन गिरिराज सिंह इन एसोसिएशन विद विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज ऑर्गेनाइज अ कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन रूरल डेवलपमेंट इवॉल्विंग इंडिया रीइमेजिनिंग रूरल डेवलपमेंट फॉर शेयर प्रोस्पेरिटी इन न्यू डेली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वाई आई एम सेंग इट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हेयर आर इंपॉर्टेंट दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड बिल एंड मिलिंडा गेट्स फाउंडेशन so a and c is the correct answer option e question number 12 40% procurement ceiling of which pulses have been removed recently under the price support scheme operations for financial year 23 24 i hope you guys remember this we have discussed the pss component under pm aasha pm aasha humne discuss kara tha usme humne pss ko discuss kiya hai detail mein in the government scheme revision class right so these three pulses are two rural and masur so 1 3 and 5 is the correct answer option b this question is very very important for the nabard aspirants and nabard wale log bhi taiyar ho jao the news are there that uh, the examination will be around in the first week of september or in the first 10 days of september so you can expect the notification in the month of july so ab khali mat baithe raho panna start kar do question number 13 How many PACS have been allowed to open Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushdhi Kendras across the country? So, 2,000 PACS have been granted the permission to open Pradhan Mantri Jan Aushdhi Kendras across the country. 1,000 Kendras will be established by August 2023, and the rest 1,000 will be established by December 2023. So, the correct answer will be 2,000. Option D. and the last question for today which iit has organized innovation for defense excellence startup and innovation showcase event which iit is this the iit in question guys is iit delhi the correct answer is option c all right so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next class on monday till then keep studying and keep studying hard Goodbye take care and god bless